Okay. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start documenting this process of our fertility treatments um, for the sole purpose that honestly when I started you know with our daughter when we were looking into fertility I the first place I turned to actually was YouTube to see other people's process other people's journeys to see you know what was involved how long were was the process like what did you need to do things like that so um, I'm going to start documenting it whether or not I upload it that will be my decision but this is obviously not going to be in real time um, because me and my partner want to go through this process privately together so I will upload this later on um, but just for reference it is the end of July right now um, was it July 28th 27th close um, and I just had my first appointment for this cycle so on your day three you go to your cycle your clinic well my process here in Canada um, you go to your clinic on day three they do blood work that's fun um, and then they also do an ultrasound to check your lining um, your follicles kind of like how many are starting to um, grow and then they'll monitor those follicles to see which ones are actually growing and which kind of just like go like kind of disappear I guess um, anyways today is day three which is also the day that I pick up my medication so I did that today we are doing letrozole, which you start on day five. So I will check back in with you guys on day five. Um, but you take two tablets a day for five days. So from day five to day 10. Um, and then I also got my Overdrill shot pen. So this is your trigger shot. This is the one that we use. And this is done usually like 36 hours before your IUI procedure. That's the one that we're doing. Um, and then this cycle, um, we've also discussed using gonal F, like a shot of gonal F between days like eight and day 10. Um, that thankfully is going to be done at the clinic because I don't, I don't like needles. I don't want to do them to myself. I just would rather they do it. So, um, we will know more like my next appointment on if that's going to happen. So they usually would do that just to help give you an extra boost, um, if your follicle size is under 15, but if I come back and my follicles are reading about 15, then they won't give me that shot and we'll just continue on with a regular cycle. Um, it is really, really bright. I'm sure you can tell. Um, yeah, so this is our third, hopefully our third cycle that will go all the way through and hopefully at the end of this, we will be pregnant um, and not have another chemical pregnancy. Um, but honestly, we've been doing this process since January 2023. It's been a very long process. Um, there's just been a lot of roadblocks this time, I find. You know, we got really sick. I did all the medication, all the tracking, and then I got the Rona. Um, it's just, you know, then we have the chemical pregnancy and just, it's it's been a long road. But I'm excited that we're here. Um, and I'm really hoping that this this time works. And I thought I'd take you along. So. Today is day three, we've had our first appointment and I will check back in with you guys on day five when we start taking Electrazole. It is day nine, I think. So blood work, ultrasound, um, and then today was the deciding factor of whether or not I was going to take that gonal F shot, which um, I did because my follicles were under a 15. So I have one on the right that is a 14, so it's close, but it's not quite there. And then I have two on the left that are 11. Um, so they did give me the gonal F and it's just to help like my hormones match like the eggs um, and just give give it a boost. Anyways, so I did that and I was very thankful that I was at the clinic because <laughs> honestly it burned a little bit, which like she warned me it was going to. 
but I don't like needles. I don't like giving myself needles. I don't do my trigger shot. I make Nicole do it for me because literally cannot do it. Um, I've actually had a friend come over in the past to give me the trigger shot because I, I cannot. So all of you out there doing IVF and giving yourself those needles, like, I cannot. Good for you. I'm terrified, but like, dang, good for you honestly anyways um i'm waiting for my doctor's orders which will happen they'll send them to me before like 2 30 but i'll probably be back in two days for more monitoring so at this point it's really just monitoring like every other day sometimes it's daily until we get to the um iui so yeah it's like it's a lot this is when it gets like busy but yeah so i'm gonna go home now but the appointment is done and we're on our way. It's, it's good. <laughs> pretty sure it's day 10. Um, we went to the clinic today. Oh, okay, I had to get my phone because I'm pretty sure, yeah, today's day 10. So we had more blood work done today and another ultrasound done today. And the gonal F shot worked. So we actually have five follicles that are measuring right now. And usually at this point, I would only have like one, maybe two. So we have one out of 17, one out of 15, and three at 13. So technically 17 is in the fertilizable range, um, but my hormones didn't match um, to indicate that like a surge was coming. Um, so I go back tomorrow, day 11 for just blood work. And if there's no real change in that, then I'll go back the next day for blood work and ultrasound. Um, but we should be getting ready to do our trigger and our IUI probably in the next like three days. I feel like it's gonna be either like Saturday or Sunday really, and today is Thursday. So I'll check back in tomorrow, but I am about to take all of these. Um, it's called Opti OV. It's a lot of vitamins, which, whatever, I'll use all the help I can get at this point, but this is every night, and I take my magnesium to sleep, so. I just finished filming, cleaning this kitchen. I am tired, but I needed to check in with you guys and let you know, so that is the update, and I'll check in again later. Hi. freaking date right august 7th monday august 7th it's a long weekend don't mind my hair i went outside and it got a little bit wet and this is what it's doing if you don't know i have really curly hair anyways you're not here to talk about my hair um so the last couple days have been really crazy um not like crazy just really busy um things did not go the way that we had planned them to go in the sense that I had planned to, you know, film the entire process, like start to finish through the IUI, everything, and it just didn't happen. Um, 
So the last time I checked in with you guys, I'm pretty sure I had the five follicles. The next day I was going for blood work. Um, that day, uh, my estrogen levels did almost double, but I wasn't in a surge yet. So then the following day I went back, um, which was the fourth, it's fifth, the Saturday. Yeah, right? No. Yes, I went back, sorry, I like, I'm all messed up on my days. I went back Saturday morning, I did another blood draw, um, because once you get to the end of your cycle, um, when you're going every day, they'll do two blood draws, and then they'll do an ultrasound and a blood draw, and then two bl blood draws, like, just depending on, um, like, how your hormones are, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so Saturday morning, I went for a blood draw, and my first orders that I got from my doctor actually said that I had to go back this Sunday, um, because I, my hormones weren't surging yet, but then I got more orders later where the doctor was like, no, because the size of the follicles and the amount that I had, they were like, let's just trigger, um, be just because of how many I had and the size that I had. And there's also a good chance that if I had gone through the next day, like the sun, the Sunday, the 6th, which would have been an ultrasound and blood work. If I had done that, there's a good chance that I may have had four like measurable fertilizable follicles and they would have canceled my cycle because more than three, they won't move forward, generally speaking. Um, but just with the amount of time that had gone past from the Thursday to the Saturday, with the amount that I had on the Thursday, the doctor was like, you know what? Like we're gonna trigger. So, I had intended to bring you guys with me um, and I was going to show you the trigger and how we do it. And then my daughter got sick um, and we actually had to bring her to the children's hospital because there's no like walking clinics or urgent care open. It was an evening on Saturday and it's a long weekend so we knew nothing else would be open until the Tuesday. Um, so we ended up going to the children's hospital and then I forgot my alcohol swab so I brought my trigger shot with me. and. I literally put it on ice, put it in a bag, and brought it with me to the hospital. Um, but I forgot an alcohol swab. So I went into triage. It was the hospital. There was, like, nobody there. I was like, excuse me, like, you know, we're in the middle of a cycle. I really need, a, like, an alcohol swab. Can I have one? Anyway, she ended up, like, doing priming it. Um, we were just going to, like, go, like, find some, like, corner. Um, but she actually ended up, like, stabbing me in the stomach, in the triage at the children's hospital. And I was like, okay, well, you know, a nurse did it, it's okay. Um, it was interesting. It was just like an interesting, like, of course that would happen. And I wasn't gonna film that. So then today is Monday the 7th, and I was to go to the clinic this morning, and I showed like, just like a clip of um, Kaya running around in the hallway, because we were the only ones there. Um, the clinic is the only building or only office that's open in the building. Um, and she was having so much fun, just running around, crawling around, just like having the time of her life, which I shared that clip just before this. Um, so we had to wait about an hour because they had to thaw the sample. Then they had to wash the sample. So this is the first time that we're using unwashed. Usually we use wash. Um, but they just didn't have, this is all I had when we purchased them. I realized I'm wearing like a black t-shirt on a gray couch and I look like a floating head. Whatever. Anyways. Um, yeah, so it was about an hour wait. Um, and then we did the IUI and it was pretty seamless. I didn't get the count this time, but it was 86% mobility after the wash. Um... And she said that there's a good chance that there's probably like three like fertilizable size based on the last scan that I had. Um, but we don't know 100% for sure because again, if we had done the scan and there was more, if there was that fourth one, they would have canceled this cycle. Um, yeah, honestly, I had some cramping like last night into today, which was really weird. I've never had that before. And this would be my like seventh or eighth time in my life doing like a trigger shot but the first time I've done a gonal F shot um 
so i had cramping last night and i had actually like a fair bit of cramping today which you can get cramping after your iui like you can get um like some spotting things like that but it was like it felt like like a period cramp and it makes my leg go numb oh sweet girl's sick i don't know if you can hear her coughing over the monitor i hate when she's sick Still asleep. Anyways, um, I had some cramping. It was like pretty bad, like to move. Um, and I don't know if that's like a combination of like the gonal F shot, the trigger shot, the IUI. Like I don't know, something was just like weird. Um, so I've just been really taking it easy since I got home. I had my McDonald's fries. I'm just trying to like rest and hope that this one works because it's been a long road. And if you are somebody who has gone through fertility or like some just not even like in a clinic, but if you're somebody who's gone through like just trying to conceive naturally or within the clinic, whatever, um, like it's all, it can be a really long road. And you don't realize like how much you really do live your life around the schedule of your fertility clinic, which is living their life around your fertility cycles. Um, but it's a lot and it's, it's long. It's so worth it at the end, but it is a lot. Um, and I'm just like, I really, I don't want to have to look for it. Sorry, I really don't want to have to look for another donor, so I really hope that this one works. I really want to give Kaya a sibling. She'll be the best big sister. Um, and it's just like the next little little peanut to complete our family. Um, even though we got this one. Murphy, you want to say hi? Come here. He thinks I'm talking about the door. Um, you can have another little, maybe you'll have a brother. Anyways, that is the update. We did the IUI today. Fingers crossed, send me all your baby dust. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a video of like the, Bubba, are you okay? Of like the two week wait, like symptoms or like what I do over the next two weeks leading up to taking our pregnancy test. So let me know if you wanna see that video and I will post it. But yes, if, any of you are thinking about going, you know, to cons like go through fertility treatments or you are in the process of doing so or you're just researching, like I just wish you all of the best. Like good luck. Ask questions, like just I'm I'm sending you all the best vibes. So anyways, I am going to probably put a movie on and relax with this guy. So I will see you guys later.